All right, Let's see if we can't go out and get ourselves a get ourselves a hog with a bow and arrow. Last day in camp. Uh, we'll go put out a round bell for the cows and then uh, see if we can't find a pig to hunt. Cows bedding down over here. They're gonna like this new fresh round bell. Camera shy, I think. With it being winter, there's not a lot of grass for them. They are cracker cattle, so they can eat palmetto and just about anything. But it's nice to supplement them with, uh, with, the, with some hay, with a bale of hay. So let me get that going. Please hit the tree. Oh yeah, perfect. Well, let's go shoot a hog. I'm laughing because my son, cameraman, cut his knee, knee up. He's got a hole in his pants. That's what you get for wearing raggy clothes. <laughs> um, there's usually a bunch of pigs in here. It's a really cold day, so they're probably bedded up. Um, we haven't even bumped any yet. I was trying to bump some and get them to move. But uh, we're going to head out and, um, on some of the open roads and see if we can't find any out feeding in the swamps or something. Spook them. 
They're out here feeding on the road. We bumped them off. He's old and smart. <laughs> She went the wrong way. I think they're on to us. Yeah. spotting and stalking and we ran into some hogs and there's this road that circles around and comes back and they head it down and I'm hoping they come back out here
So, uh, five days ago, I was down here with my uh, son, Billy, and uh, we uh, did some spot and stalk, couldn't get up on any, and I came down uh, this week with my cousin, Dan, and uh, we've been out all day uh, stalking around. He just shot a hog, and there were some more hogs coming as we were looking for blood, so we stepped off to the edge of the trail, and this black sow came down, gave me about a, I don't know, 10 yard shot, and uh, hit, her, uh, hit her perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we got some pork to pile up there, Dan. Sounds good. <laughs> wow, that was cool. Well, both of our hogs ran into the same area, so um, I guess we'll just give them a few minutes and we'll go in there and get after them. <laughs> what do you think of this hog hunt? It's great. <laughs> Gotta do it more often. kind of arrow I like to see. <laughs> this must have been one of my old kids, my kids old target arrows. There's a dent in it. Didn't notice that but it, it flew true that's for sure. <laughs> but all right uh, give it a few minutes maybe go have a cold water and uh, we'll get on the trail but uh, I think it looks good. I think we're in good shape. Uh, that, that'll be my first bow kill on a hog on the 101 since I owned the place. That was five years now. No okay. kidding. So, my first hog kill in my own place. I've guided a lot of my friends and family to hogs, and um, it was time. It was time. Uh, January 2021. Yep. Good day today. Good day. So we're out spotting and stalking today. Um, I was filming my, my cousin Dan and he had quite a few opportunities. Uh, and we just happened to be coming around the corner on this little uh, ranch road we got here and there was a, a sow out rooting and Dan hit her a little far back but got lucky, caught something, maybe a kidney or something. She didn't go 50 yards. And as we were uh, taking a look at the arrow and, and look at the blood down the road quite a ways, we saw this sow coming and she was coming right at us, just rooting along. So I handed Dan the camera and I grabbed the bow and we just stepped off the side of the, the trail by about 10 yards and she came by within a minute or two and I put a good hit on her and uh, we were able to cull a couple of sows, trying to keep the population down. Um, they're really starting to root up the pasture. We normally just hunt boars, but uh, it was time to take a couple sows out and try to keep the litters of piglets down. The cows will thank us, or there'll be more pasture for them to graze on. But good time down here, Dan. What Absolutely, do you think? it's great. I appreciate it. 